Okay, friends, welcome back to part two of July's once a month grocery haul. It is 3.20 in the afternoon. So today we left at 11 and we went to Drug Emporium, which is like a health food store. Evan just got a new um, ball toy that I bought him today at Michael's. So he's gonna holler every single time he catches the ball, so cute. We went to Michael's and Drug Emporium. Um, we had a drive through lunch at Sonic, and then we went to, where did we go? Aldi and then Walmart. And it is so hot in between. Um, I did have all of the cooler bags for the things that I had bought that were frozen, and I tried to really not buy anything too cold at stores outside of Walmart. The few things that I did get ended up being okay. So I'm gonna, I did not organize this as well as I probably would have if it wasn't so hot outside. I really need to get this food back in the refrigerator. So if you've been following along with us, um, thank you. If you are new here, we are a family of 12 and we have 10 children and um, ages 21 to six. And um, we are a homeschooling family on break for summer, but we eat all of our meals at home. My husband works from home. Um, this month is a little bit different. To keep switching arms. Um, this month is a little bit different because we are, or I have been creating an inventory sheet. And so I bought a little bit more at the store than I normally do. And I still am going to purchase some things online. There was sometimes I had been really looking online and pricing things and things like with Sam's, if you, um, the free shipping, it was, it just made more sense to have them lug it here for free. So when those come in, I will let you know that this afternoon after I get this put away and sit down for a little bit, I'm going to create our, um, menu for the month and then also update our inventory before I place those online orders. And, um, I will take you along for that too as those orders come in. So we are gonna start, I think we're gonna start with Aldi. We also just had Brian's whole family here yesterday and so I decorated for the fourth and then my family's, a portion of my family's coming tomorrow so we've got some Fourth of July decorations out. Okay, I bought a box of the Winking Owl wine and we get a case of this every month for Evan. He loves these still. Um, this Live Free brand of gluten-free products at Aldi is really good. We're actually gonna cook these tonight so my recipe, it's not even really a recipe for that is I just bake these popcorn chicken in the oven and then make rice in the Instapot and then the Good and Gather brand from Target, if you've watched some of my grocery hauls, sorry there was a fly, um, they have these sauces that are so good and so I have an orange chicken, I'm just going to pour that over there. So literally dinner prep time is almost nothing for me, so I'm going to do that tonight. And then my kids love these Parmesan herb encrusted chicken tenders. One bag is about a lunch for us. Um, these are actually also really good as like chicken Parmesan if you kind of do what they did in the picture, but put the chicken on top and melt mozzarella cheese. That is a really easy dinner. I got 12 red enchilada sauces, six pork and beans, and two cherry pie fillings. I got six of the diced pears. This is 100% cranberry juice. It is so tart and really hard to drink, but if you have any struggles with any urinary issues and you um, kind of feel a UTI coming on, this has really helped me. Um, I drink a ton of water and then have to kind of almost take this like a shot, like it really is that bitter, um, but this really helps. So I always like to have one of these in the pantry in case somebody gets sick. Two of the spreadable butters. I ran out of creamer actually this morning. 
So I went ahead, and I usually just get two. I went ahead and got one more. Um, you know, they, they expire way past this month, so I thought it'd be better to just go ahead and have an extra one. If you followed along, you know these are Evan's yogurts. He usually eats a case in two weeks. He is on complete nutrition through formula. Our Evan, our youngest, has Down syndrome if you're new here, and he has a lot of food aversions, and he works with a speech therapist to um, accommodate that and help him kind of grow into new foods. This is one of the things that he <laughs> eats. And even if you try to put a different vanilla yogurt and even put it in this container, he knows the difference. So um, if we run out of this, <laughs> it's, it's a hard day. So I don't usually buy more than a case at a time because it just takes up space in the fridge, but this hopefully will last us 10 days. And then I bought one of the whole milk Greek yogurt. I use this as a starter for homemade yogurt that I make. My Evelyn loves cheese and she picked this out, this blueberry vanilla goat cheese. So we'll have that with some crackers. Let's see, Aldi Aldi. And I apologize for my kitchen mess. I've still got stuff out from the party yesterday and I didn't want to put it totally up because we're going to be using it tomorrow. Okay, um, we love the Aldi's brand, uh, or it's Benton's, if you get them at Aldi. They're kind of fake Girl Scout cookies are so good, and then the kids have liked these pecan shortbreads. So really, one of these packages is like one snack for the kids. Um, Evan loves these yogurt bites and eats those in, or we use these for therapy. When he's done with the therapy or if he's struggling, we use these as motivation. He has three therapies a week. He gets PT, OT, and speech twice a week here at the house. I got one thing of olive oil spray. This is such a yummy snack. I wish that I could find these in gluten-free because these thin pretzels are so good, but I got two of those. Really just one bag, actually almost two bags would be one kind of side item for lunch or a snack. Two bags of the pretzels. So here's kind of the little bit of produce I got at Aldi. I got um, three, nine green peppers. They were $1.69 for three. Two packages of jalapenos. We are gonna make some monster cookies for the 4th of July. And I knew I needed butterscotch chips. So I got those. Two things of cilantro. Two red grapes and two green grapes. Two bags of sweet potatoes two things of baby carrots, one small thing of the colored cherry tomatoes, and their strawberries are $1.49 a carton. And I'm actually gonna try to send my mom back to get, there was no limit, more this week. Maybe the girls and I can make some jam together. Um, two things of white onions and one purple onion. I got three things of tortillas. I usually get a lot more than that, but I'm gonna try to make homemade tortillas this month. I'm gonna get a tortilla press online as part of my orders I'm making tonight, and one thing of corn tortillas. Um, two things of their Hawaiian rolls, one pita bread. This only has five in here, but when I cut this in half and fill it with tuna and fruit, and a side, like a pretzel or something, this really is enough for all of us to have um, a sandwich. And the two things of ciabatta rolls, I make a French dip sandwich with a Mississippi pot roast that is really yummy on this bread. Let's see, okay, over here, three boxes of the onion soup mix, two things of taco shells. We love just their um, scallop potatoes and crackers, just the Ritz crackers and kind of the, their off-brand Cheez-It. One thing of vinegar and their avocado oil is really nice to cook with. Um, if you followed us for a while, at the last few months I've told you that I'm only buying a small amount of cereal. The last few days the kids have eaten a lot of cereal, but I, I'm gonna try to only do one thing of cereal a week. So we got six boxes. We got Frosted Flakes, the Honey Grams, and the Honey Nut Cheerios. 
Um, I got some Jello. We were pretty low in the pantry. I try to make this every once in a while and just keep this on hand as a snack for the kids. Three strawberries, three oranges. I got four of the chocolate puddings. We were totally out in the pantry. Two things of peanuts, one of their unsalted cashews. Okay, I think that's Aldi. So next I'll go to Drug Emporium. This is where I get the majority of my gluten-free items. I'm gonna try these powdered sugar donuts. Don't those look so good? And these plain English muffins. I really liked these Pamela's Whenever Bars, the Cranberry Almond. These are so good. This Country Ranch, Nut Thins, and then I got a Pepper Jack. I literally can eat this whole bag if I in one sitting. It is so yummy. I'm gonna try the Char brand of hamburger buns. I don't love the Udi's, but I eat it pretty regularly. So I would, instead of getting two of these, I was gonna try these and see the price difference. I don't see a price on this one, but this one is $5.45 for four. They feel a lot softer, so we'll see. And then I bought this last time, it was so good. This sourdough deli style bread for sandwiches. And I got me the gluten-free ciabatta rolls, so when they have the French dip sandwich, I can too. Okay, I literally, I think, squealed when I saw this. It is, I'm so excited. They are, it's raw um, cookies for, that are gluten-free. So I picked out the chocolate chunk. And then I love these Amy's dinners. If the kids are eating something that has gluten in it and I'm just too lazy to create Something else for me to eat. I usually like to have a couple of these in the freezer. So I just got the two different kinds of enchilada meals. Okay, on to Walmart. I have a really pretty pot walking up to our house that has on one side this really pretty trailing plant. And this one, I wish it was open for you. It was open when I bought it and then it closed. I probably need to get it outside. We just watered them, but it has these really pretty orange flowers with a yellow center, so pretty. And then my mom, my birthday was yesterday and she bought me a really pretty pot for an indoor plant, so I bought this one. And then on my last video, a few or a few videos ago, I had better luck with my sourdough sandwich bread rising in glass loaf pans, but I only had one and it makes three loaves at a time. So these were under $5 a pan and I ended up getting two of those. Okay, dirty dishes, real life here. So some of the cold stuff, Evan only likes the Go-Gurts and strawberry and most boxes have like mixed berry and he will not eat that. So I got four boxes of these. These don't expire till the end of August. So this should last us a while. I got four boxes of the unsalted butter and two of salted. One of our milks is leaking. I think it still is, yep. I must have a little crack in it. So I only bought four until I processed some of the meat. They're good until the 18th, so that should last us. And then my popcorn maker, I literally poured the kernels in. I've had it probably 15 years. And when I plugged it in, it started smoking and then it just stopped working. So this is, I was thankful they had one on the shelf. And so I bought that. And then two packages of napkins. We have been on the quest for a knockoff version of the Topo Chico glass mineral waters. And we've tried this brand from HEB. I'm currently drinking this right now, this 1877 and it's very good. And then this brand I've never seen before. Um, and it was, I wanna say six, under $7 for 12. So we're gonna kinda try that and compare it. And then if we find one we like, I'll stockpile some of those. This is such a fun, nice treat when it is so hot outside. Okay, I got four of the crescent rolls and some of my, my scissors keep disappearing or I just don't, I don't know where I'm putting them. So I went ahead and got another KitchenAid kitchen scissors. I'm gonna be processing a lot of that meat and didn't wanna have to deal with finding my scissors. I got two things of ricotta cheese. I'm gonna make some ziti and stuffed shells this month. And these actually said it didn't expire 
until October. So I got two big ones thinking I don't have a huge rush to use them all the way. I got a fish filter for Evan's fish tank. I just got a small coleslaw. I think me and Elizabeth are the only ones that like coleslaw, but I was going to go ahead and make that for our barbecue tomorrow for the fourth. <coughs> Excuse me. For the 4th of July, there was very little frozen. <coughs> I'm taking a drink of my water. Okay. There's very little frozen chicken options at Walmart. And in fact, there weren't two that were even the same. So I'm going to put these in for the kids for the orange chicken. I only got six things of chips. Chips are my go-to snack in the evenings. I love chips and salsa. I love jalapeno chips. I love barbecue chips. Whenever I feel stressed, I'm a stress eater and I truly love chips. So for I've got only six thinking if we save these for lunches, this will get us through halfway through the month when I do our fill-in haul. So I got the sour cream and onion, the jalapeno kettle, and then these hint of lime chips are so delicious. So I got some of those. Got some just American cheese slices. We like this for grilled cheese. Um, 48 sliced mild cheddar, two mozzarellas. I'm gonna actually use this for a recipe. My Evelyn picked out these liquid centered, um, Chew, we call them chewies, fruit snacks. And then she also picked out this little SpongeBob house for her fish. It was cracking me up. She is my sophomore in college and she's very sophisticated. She's a piano major, so sweet. So it was really funny and cute to see her pick out juice filled um, chewies and a SpongeBob thing. So it's fun to kind of see her, her do that too. Okay, the dogs have been, we've been mixing the dog's food with raw eggs and they have been carrying off. Like if I even set my spoon on the table out there, they jump up, the big dogs, they jump up there and get them and carry them off. So I needed to replace my ones for inside. So this is just a bamboo kitchen set. These are more of the tiny, they're yogurt bites, but they're in tinier packaging come back to Michael's and then they did not have any of the suave that was under two dollars they only had this but it actually looks really nice so I got some shampoo and conditioner some of the rosemary and mint and some avocado and olive oil I got 200 cotton rounds the girls and I go through that they had all their school supplies out, but it was already picked over. We were out of notebook paper and I wanted the college rolled and this is truly all that they had. So I'm trying to start to get our school supplies for our homeschool year and I need to see if I can get some of that online. So my birthday was yesterday and Evelyn and I decided that we needed this karaoke microphone. It is, um, it was not expensive. It was $24. It says it amplifies it here, but also I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll go into our um, sound system in our living room. Evelyn and I love to sing. Um, we would never claim to be good at it, but we have a lot of fun. So that's going to be a fun party night. We got 120 eggs. Our hens are laying, but they cannot keep up with the amount that we eat. We're actually thinking about, we have a rooster, so our hens are, for, our hens, our eggs are fertilized. So we're thinking about buying um, an incubator and we need to time it when the weather is not 145 degrees outside. But we're thinking about hatching some of our eggs so that we can have more eggs and he got some dry erase markers again very picked over I'm going to place an order online for some more of those Evan um, is very strange about which cup he'll use and so he likes these for his formula um, again another thing of 
yogurt bites. We're not playing around. We need those in our house. I'm thinking Evelyn bought two of these. This is a toner that the girls have really been liking. It has witch hazel in it and rose water. I think it's pretty comparable to other brands. So we got one more of those. And this is kind of our toiletry section. Got some hair products and face lotion and face soap. Lots of face soap for lots of teenagers. I was totally out of aloe when one of my kids got a sunburn the other day. So I got, this says it's a moisturizer with aloe now that I'm looking at it. You know, I wondered why it wasn't green. Goodness, okay, well, better than nothing, right? Um, chicken. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and they were $2.62 a pound, and I got two packages. They're each about five pounds. They were $13.13 and $12.26, so I'm gonna get those in the freezer. The cheese, I've seen a huge price increase. I remember when this huge bag, always the least expensive at Walmart was $12. It was 18 today. So I've been buying some of my cheese at Azure Standard, but their mozzarella is a lot more expensive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this for now. We got one bag of the little Smokies. I meant to buy this at Sam's, but forgot or didn't see it, I don't know. Um, we wrapped these with crescent rolls that we cut in half and it makes like a little pig in the blanket. The kids love that for breakfast. I got six pounds of ground turkey. This is 93% lean. They did ha were completely sold out at Sam's Club. I went ahead and got some smaller quart size. Um, I have the gallon ones um, in the garage, but some freezer bags. And that might be it, y'all. Let me survey. Okay, I'm looking at my time. It says 22 minutes, so I don't know how long this video will be once we edit it down, but thank you so much for watching. Um, like I shared in our last video, we are less than 200 away from 10,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our channel. And if you are not a subscriber, we would love to have you join our YouTube family. We are trying to get in the habit of posting more regularly a lot of days in the life and um, grocery hauls, cooking, real life. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, we would love to have you join our family, our YouTube family. So um, like this video and thanks for watching and we will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.